It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking arithmetic sequences, where we're going to determine how to find the nth term of a sequence given some of the terms. Here's our question. We're told that the first term of an arithmetic sequence is 5, the third term of the sequence is 13, and we're asked which of the following expressions represents the nth term of the sequence. So we're given four expressions, and we want to know which one of these will give us any term of this arithmetic sequence. So once again, we're told first term is 5, and the third term of the sequence is 13. So we know the first term and the third term. We do not know the second. However, we're told that it's an arithmetic sequence, which tells us that we're going to repeatedly add the same value from one term to get to the next. So if I look at the first to the third term, I see I have an increase of 8. 5 add 8 is 13. Half of 8 is 4. So if I say 5 add 4 will give me 9, add 4 gives me 13. So I can use the common difference between the first and third terms to find the common difference between each term. So now that I know that the common difference, and I'm going to repeatedly add 4 in this arithmetic sequence, we can work on our formula. So we know that an arithmetic sequence is equal to the first term of the sequence, this a subscript 1 names the first term, which we know to be 5. So we're going to start with 5, and we're going to add n subtract 1 over here represents finding the next term. We already know one term, so we're going to take away that 1 and find the next term, n minus 1. And d here represents the common difference. The common difference is what we add to the first term to get to the second, and then to the next, and the next. So we're going to put a 4 here. So let's clear our space. We are going to simplify this to match these expressions. So we're going to start with our 5, and now we have to distribute the 4 to the n minus 1. 4 times n is 4n. 4 times negative 1 is going to give us negative 4. We'll start with our variable term. There's only one, 4n. We'll add our constants, 5 and negative 4 are positive 1. So we can see that the expression to get to any term of this arithmetic sequence is answer choice A, 4n plus 1. And there you have it. That is how we interpret an arithmetic sequence. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.